With Werewolf by Night, Marvel Studios have introduced a new format for content through their special presentations. These one-hour one-shots tell a complete story that Marvel might follow up on later, or they might not. And in this video, we'll be looking at a couple of special presentations currently in the works at Marvel Studios, including one that'll be extra exciting. First up, Marvel has some out-of-this-world specials. The Cosmic Circus has reported that Marvel Studios are revisiting the Nova Corps with a special presentation. The Intergalactic Police Force was first introduced in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Guardians of the Galaxy, but a lot has happened in the cosmos. With the story of the Guardians coming to a close next May, Marvel may be gearing up to increase the Nova Corps' presence ahead of introducing Richard Rider and Sam Alexander in a proper movie. But here's one that'll curl your toes. Now that we know Kang will be our overarching villain for the multiverse saga, some of you might be wondering who or what's next. We've also known that Kevin Feige is thinking so far ahead that he's already developing concepts for Phase 7 and beyond. So it's really interesting to learn that the Silver Surfer might be about to get a special presentation. The Surfer has always been a character that Marvel wanted on the big screen, but the only instance we got was the Fantastic Four sequel, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Could that mean Galactus is on his way? Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But also, it sure seems like Marvel Studios is planting the seeds for the next saga. They did something similar with the multiverse, so it's definitely in Fiji's MO. Up next, here's what you can expect from the Silver Surfer special presentation. Supposedly, the style of this presentation will be pretty similar to Werewolf by Night. Not in the sense that it'll be black and white, but rather, it'll feature Norrin Rad on a standalone adventure that doesn't tie back to any ongoing storylines and won't feature any established characters. We can live with that in the Surfer's first outing. That's all we know about what the special presentation... Well, actually, we do know one other thing. The planned release date for this presentation is in the fall of 2024, months before the February 2025 release of the MCU's Fantastic Four movie. Sure enough, the Phase 6 roadmap shown by Marvel Studios at San Diego Comic-Con does have a vacant slot in that period. We think that's some interesting timing. While the Fantastic Four movie will almost certainly be focused on Kang, the Silver Surfer presentation might be our introduction to Galactus. As a one-off story, it might show the Surfer doing his work as a herald of the glutton for planets. And we might even witness the moment the Surfer decides to abandon his role as herald. That might set him up to fly off to Earth to warn the Fantastic Four about Galactus sometime in Phase 7. We're we're getting so excited just thinking about this. For now, let's do some fantastic fan casting. Who could the right actor be for someone like Norrin Rad? It's a tough call, since Norrin usually has a pretty icy demeanor, yet he's a character with complexities and emotions that come through regardless. Who could play a character like that? Well, we'll start with a spicy take. Paul Bettany. Ironically, his performance as Vision proves him to be such a great fit for the Silver Surfer. Now, it's not unheard of for one actor to play multiple roles in the MCU, but Vision and Silver Surfer are major characters characters. We still think it's worth making the exception because Bettany feels like he was born to play the surfer, just like he did with Vision. Coming up next, Vigo Mortensen. Let's say that you need a new actor for the job. Then how about Vigo Mortensen? He's one of the last stars of the Lord of the Rings franchise that still hasn't made it into the MCU, and we think it's about time. While Aragorn isn't exactly what you think of the Silver Surfer, he's still an incredibly versatile actor who's proven himself in various roles. Moving on to more of a rising star, Rami Malek. Malek has proven his acting chops from Mr. Robot to Queen to James Bond. Even when he's acting in a production that isn't the best overall, Malik is consistently the highlight of every show he's in. He even scored an Academy Award for his acting in Bohemian Rhapsody. Malik can seriously elevate the MCU by simply showing up. Now, this is a bit of a long shot, but what if we could get Matt Smith? We feel like Doctor Who and the Silver Surfer would see eye to eye on a lot of stuff, but reducing Smith to Doctor Who would be unfair to him. He played a great Prince Philip and put on a great performance in Last Night in Soho. We wouldn't be able to get Matt Smith at this time because he's currently dazzling us on House of the Dragon, and well, his last superhero movie didn't do so well. Speaking of Sony's Spider-Man universe, Riz Ahmed would be a good fit. Ahmed has gotten a few high-profile roles over the years, including an appearance in the first Venom and Rogue One, a Star Wars story. But it's not just his franchise experience that makes him a good fit for the role, as he's shown a remarkable acting range and would fit into Norrin Rad perfectly. The only challenge might be getting him to commit to multiple years of MCU movies. Now, let's look at Zachary Quinto yet. With the super uneven release schedule of the reboot Star Trek movies, Quinto could make space for the MCU, and freaking Spock as the Silver Surfer would be an incredible casting choice, as the Surfer can often feel like Spock on a surfboard. We'd bet money on Quinto getting the part. Let's follow up that with a surprise pick, Alan Tudyk. It's been too long since Tudyk has been to space, and thanks to Joss Whedon, we can't even enjoy his amazing turn on Firefly and Serenity. Tudyk has been a real clutch actor for 
for Disney's animated projects, but it's about time he got a major live-action role on the world's biggest movie stage. One hiccup with Tudyk could be that he's getting up in years, and we'd hope that the surfer has a long road to go in the MCU. We're reaching our list's end, so let's get controversial. What if we gender-swapped Norrin? Let's be honest, while Rise of the Silver Surfer wasn't a great movie, it did give us a decent take on the original version of Norrin Rad from the comics. Since the MCU loves to shake things up, what if we make the Silver Surfer a woman? If Marvel does that, we have the perfect actress for the job. Jessica Chastain has some really strong prestige credits to her name and genre movies like It, Chapter 2, and The Martian. The woman is up to any challenge you can throw at her, and besides, we need Chastain in the MCU in general. Next up, what about Sterling K. Brown? Our next pick for the Silver Surfer is another case of dual identity in the MCU. But just because Sterling K. Brown has played Killmonger's dad doesn't mean he can't also be the Surfer. Brown is one of the most underrated actors out there right now, and he's earned himself a big franchise role like the one in the MCU. MCU. We'd be thrilled to see him cast. Last but not least, Keanu Reeves. Now, while all of our picks are great, at least in our opinion, we've saved the best choice for last. If you had to describe the Silver Surfer in a nutshell, how would you describe him? Calm? Serene? Zen? Deadly in a fight? Keanu Reeves can do all those things while rocking a leather trench coat and glasses. You might wonder why we bothered with the rest of the list. He's one of the internet's favorite actors right now and has such an insane amount of experience across genres that there's no role he couldn't crush. Even though he He's never played a superhero right now, unless we're counting Constantine, we know that he'd be perfect as a superhero. The only downside to this casting choice is that Reeves has expressed an interest in playing Johnny Blaze as Ghost Rider, which, we have to admit, would also be seriously dope. Maybe he could do both. That would be breathtaking for sure. Now that we think about it, we want Keanu Reeves in the MCU, even if he plays Squirrel Girl. That's it for today's video. Are you excited about the Silver Surfer special presentation? Do you think Galactus is the next big bad of the MCU? Let us know what you thought of our fan casting and what you'd like to add to the list. But whatever you do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.